John from Rentork here uh, with a video for you on installing uh, a central lock equipped wheel on a GT3, GT2, Turbo S, or GTS. Uh, first off, uh, to make the job a little bit easier, uh, it may be beneficial for you to use a hub uh, extender pin like this that threads into the hub just the way that the uh, central lock nut does. Um, it makes it a lot easier to get the wheel um, up and seated onto the rotor hub. Uh, and also, particularly with ceramics, it also makes sure that you don't have any uh, impacts or collisions between the outer diameter of the rotor uh, and the inner diameter of the wheel. So once you have that installed, if you're going to use one, uh, then you want to make sure that you've got uh, a well-lubricated nut, uh, particularly this conical seating surface uh, and the threads there. Uh, you want a nice, clean, relatively thin film around the nut, uh, and then a similar clean, relatively thin film around uh, the conical seating surface on the wheel. Okay, once you've got that in place, uh, now you can get the wheel up onto the car um, and get it ready for mounting. So you get the wheel uh, nicely seated there on the hub. Uh, then you can remove your pin. Like that. Uh, and then install your nut. To make the job a little bit easier, I do have two different uh, OEM sockets. One freestanding one here that I use to put the uh, nut on and then a second socket there on the Rentor tool, but that's really optional. You don't need that. It just makes it a little bit uh, simpler and quicker. So you can use uh, either the freestanding nut or the tool to spin the nut relatively snug onto the wheel. Once you've got that, uh, then you take your Rentor tool and a torque wrench that's set to 95 uh, pounds feet. You insert the tool onto the, the nut uh, and then go ahead and tighten it up. So this is a pretty easy process. It takes about the same amount of force as it does to put on a conventional lug nut on a conventional car. So you hear that click right there, the torque wrench, that's saying we've got our 95 foot pounds. Now, according to Porsche, uh, the nut should be backed off about uh, 60 degrees and then retightened just to make sure it's well seated. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we will retighten uh, to 95 pounds feet with the uh, torque wrench. That's it.